Today let's talk about some of the different ways you have available to you to customize your Training Peaks calendar. So as you can see right now, I don't have a whole lot of space on my calendar because of long descriptions or multiple workouts on a day, lots of information in the week summary. So first let's talk about some of the ways we can free up some of that calendar real estate. First I need to go to my account settings and I can do that either by clicking my name in the upper right or click on any of these workouts and click the gear icon here. Now I'm in my settings. The first thing I can do is I can decide what I want to see on each of those workouts. And so me as the coach, I don't really need to know what that description is. I know what the workouts are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. Note that this does not change what my athlete sees on their calendar. So they'll still be able to see that description. Um, you'll notice here that I do have post activity comments. And so this is nice if your athletes are logging post-activity comments, you can quickly glance at your calendar and see if they've up, um, logged a new comment. Now I want to go down to Week Summary. And you can see all these um, things that pertain to the ATP, such as hours, period, and limiters. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Now Save and Close. So you can see just by doing that, that I freed up quite a bit of space, but I'm still limited to two weeks, uh, basically because I have the summary information here. I've got a metric here. So I'm gonna see if I can free up a little bit more space. Go ahead and turn off nutrition and metrics. And so that freed up just a little bit more space. I can remove that week summary. And the last thing I can do is I can go to Compact View. And so now you can see that I have three weeks showing at a time. So just a few tricks there to free up some of that space. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the summary back now and show some of the um, other calendar options you have. Go back to my account settings. So if I didn't want to see my workouts colorized based on compliance, then I can go ahead and uncheck this box right here. And so what that will do is that will just make all the workouts color coded based on workout type. And the other thing I can do, if I go down to my week summary, I can go to event, I can add event countdown. And this is something we just added. And again, this is based on the ATP, but it will show you on the week summary how many weeks um, leading up to the next A race or event going to say save and close. And now you can see that none of my workouts are color coded anymore, um, except based on workout type. And then over in the week summary, it's showing my event countdown. So two weeks, one week, and now we've got the race. For more information on this or other Training Peaks features, please go to help.trainingpeaks.com.